In Design for Assembly version 10, we've simplified the way the items libraries work. In order to add parts or categories to the items library, simply go to the libraries menu, choose items, and that will open up the default library. Now, as you know, you can have multiple libraries and you use the librarian to browse to which library you're working in. Here, I'm gonna rename this to sample parts. And where it says unnamed part, here I could change this to test part. And I can simply answer these few questions. Is it a part or an unanalyzed subassembly? I could supply its dimensions and I can supply its symmetry along with the cost if I wanted to. Now, the reason we've simplified this so greatly in the items library is the answers to the design for assembly questions and the questions themselves depend on the situation in which the part's being used. So if this was a uh, small part going into a large assembly, the question set would be different than if it was a small part going into a small assembly. I can now save the library and close it. And if I go to insert a library item, you'll see here that test part is one of the choices I can make. I can also select parts, so I could take the motor, the motor screws, the standoffs, and the sensor, and I can right click on them and copy them. Then I could choose libraries, items, and then where I have test part here, if I right click and choose paste, I can paste those items into the items library from within my analysis. Again, saving the library and closing it, I now have uh, those parts available to me should I choose this insert library item box. You can see I can now add the test part we defined by default or the motor, the motor screws, the standoffs, or the sensor that we just copy and pasted into the library.